So guys, in today's video I will be sharing with you those perfumes that I wear often but don't talk about much on my channel. So make sure to keep on watching to find out everything about those fragrances. I have prepared a nice top 10 list for you. And all you have to do is to give this video a huge thumbs up right now and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. And then we can get started. Welcome everyone! In today's video I thought I can talk about fragrances I used to rave about on my channel and stop doing that for some strange reason, but I didn't stop wearing them. So I have already filmed a video about forgotten favorites and these are not really forgotten, but um, well, you'll see, maybe you will be remembered of some fragrances and some might be completely new for you because uh, I'm not sure that I've spoken about a few of these, but let me know if this idea sounds interesting to you or not. If you have any other topics on your mind that you would like me to discuss, just comment them below and I'm getting started and this top 10 list will be opened with a fragrance I'm still into. You might remember my rave review on Pure Musk by Narciso Rodriguez and you guys, I gotta be honest with you, this is such a brilliant, modern, musky, white floral scent with a little bit, just a little bit of a vintage vibe going on that I fell in love with it at first sniff, I bought it, I read it about it and I still like to wear it because it's easy going, it's great for everyday basis, it's a no-brainer for me and its bottle is really cool too. So if you've heard about Narciso Rodriguez line, which is pretty famous for its musky fragrances, I would recommend you check this one out and please let me know if you have already had a chance to smell its flanker because we still haven't gotten it in Germany and I'm really curious about it. Alright, so this next fragrance is from one of the best niche friends. It was my most favorite niche perfume brand discovery of last year and uh, its name is Ilk Perfumes. You might want to check out my interview with their founder on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, make sure to do so because I invite perfumers and brand owners and have really nice talks with them. And so Ilk Perfumes is a great line with beautiful fragrances and devious and um, don't mind that the bottle is almost full because I like to wear it, but don't get me wrong, I test new perfumes every single day, so I'm not an oversprayer anyway, and uh, lots of these bottles are gonna be almost full, but I wear these fragrances. And I haven't forgotten about Devious, especially it's great for the colder weather because it has such a great boozy character. There is very nice spicy note of um, cherry, there is amaretto, there are almonds, caramel and vanilla and it's so delicious and yummy and projects well and just makes me feel good so I still really like it and still really recommend you this line. Alrighty, talking about colder weather, I Got back to DSH, well I have never forgotten about it and I have so many samples, I'm wearing them almost every day you know how much I love DSH perfumes. Let me know if you have uh, smelled anything based on my recommendations. And I'm not sure if I've ever spoken about Firefly on my channel. I think I did. And I got it after sampling this fragrance that to me smells mossy, dark and green and reminds me of Twilight in the late autumn, you know? So it has actually a very dirty muskiness hidden behind the mossy greenery and even a little bit of an apple crisp, but this is not a fruity scent. It smells quite dirty and if you like dirty scents, you will enjoy this one. You know, basically it smells just like my outfit looks today. A little bit sparkling. By the way, this jewelry I got from TIGN. We'll leave a link, of course, down below for you to check out. They're amazing everything, products like bags and shoes and uh, jewelry, but also it matches the color of my new sweater. Yeah, it's like dark green and sparkly. It is quite aromatic and yes, I like it, so that's the point of this video and um, I needed to mention, but I also need to mention something you might remember or not me talking about it, probably if you're a new subscriber then you haven't heard me just like uh, going crazy about Africa Elephant by Nishani, which is one of the best and uh, hear me out, one of the very best animalic scents out there because it features note of castorium, leather, sea bat, ambergris, 
agar wood, musk and a few resins so you get it all in this smoky and intense scent that I personally enjoy to wear if I'm going out because although this is an animalic beast, people react to it very positively and it is sexy, it is over the top and just gorgeous, very strong excellent performance, long-lasting, and you can get Nishani fragrances from the great online shop So Avant-Garde with my discount and even save some money. And we are moving on to perfume that I loved the minute I smelled it and it's sort of like my signature scent, but I feel I haven't spoken about Metallic by Tom Ford in the longest time ever. And it's not a fragrance for everyone, but it is so unique and creative and there is nothing quite like it out there in the opening with aldehydes that make it smell clean and then it turns into a very powdery scent because of the heliotrope. It almost makes it smell like makeup. There is a lot of the valley for this floral freshness and gorgeous vanilla with a musk. So I adore this scent. You might want to check out my review on it. And yes, I still wear it and still love it and still recommend it. Alrighty then, let's talk about something that not only I like and do wear, but also Benny likes to wear. And this fragrance is a love bond from Dua Fragrances. And let me know if you remember me talking about it or not. Maybe I featured it in the top list of Dua Fragrances. And I would like uh, you to comment below if you want me to smell some new perfumes that I've seen they are edited to their official website. And as you know, Dua Fragrances creates perfumes um, that are inspired by other very popular fragrances. And this one in particular was inspired by Rolling in Love by Killian, which I was really excited about when it was first launched and I smelled it and it wasn't really my thing. I love this scent, don't get me wrong, but it was so light that I couldn't really smell it well on my skin, which is strange because perfumes usually perform really nice on me and when I smell this, it's just like rolling in love but stronger, it has more power, not in the, you know, like overpowering and overwhelming way, but it, it just noticeable, you know? And this is also the best milky scent I've ever smelled. It is so creamy, you guys. If you love rolling in love, if you love creamy scents, if you like almond, iris, musk, and just creamy notes, like a little bit like tonic, you need to check out this perfume that smells kind, that smells comfy, that smells like skin, but better. Oh, I love it on Benny, I love it on me, and uh, you can clearly tell that by the amount of the juice inside. Are you ready for my most favorite Jamie Rose? Well, I don't really talk about Roses Vanille by Mansara quite often, but I really talk often about perfumes in its style, like Intense Cafe by Montal and others. But this is it when it comes to sugary rose. And I love sugary roses so much, as you know, I'm a big fan of rose, and this one is just a classy, jammy, sugary rose in a bottle. I still love it, and I still need to talk about it more often. Do you agree? Oh, 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 Bubble Bath by Mace Margiela. Who remembers my review on it? Naked in the bubble bath. Well, you haven't seen that I'm naked, but you might want to check out my review on this gorgeous, clean, soapy, uh, aromatic, floral coconut scent. This is so good. This is just the scent that um, brings me, you know, like, calms me down and lifts me up. It's great, you know. I, I, I like it, okay? What, what else should I say? I like it. I blind bought it, did I? I'm not sure. Well, I want to mention it in this video because I feel like I haven't spoken about it since my coconut layering episode. Maybe I should film more layering episodes. What, what, what kind of fragrances you would like me to talk about? Maybe like a note? or a genre, well, let me know, guys. Yes, that, that's something that I all, all, also miss filming. Ooh, 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 let me talk about, where is it? San Marcos Altar, because this is the best tea jasmine scent I've ever smelled, and I'm not kidding, I don't know where to spray it, maybe on my head. <gasps> guys, this jasmine has incredible amount of jasmine. Check out my interview with San Marco, with Giovanni, it smells incensey, it's such an aromatic scent and it smells like jasmine tea. I love it so much and I love it um, 
if I'm going out because on the fresh air it performs so great and uh, yes if you like jasmine you will like it and I used to be not the biggest fan of jasmine but this one smells so natural and so expensive and uh, yes I like it I love it I am obsessed with it oh and in case you're interested in some Marco fragrances you can get them from Equation Natural and um, yeah I also have a discount for you because uh, they have an amazing selection of indie perfumes and uh, his entire range. And finally, last but not least, Oscan by Sylvain Delacourt. Soul Tree Orange Blossom and Patchouli Mix. Great for colder weather because it's warm, it's not, you know, like uh, too strong as patchouli fragrances might be and it definitely smells expensive. So if you want to check out this line, I would recommend you to go to Sommelier de Perfume website and get just samples of niche fragrances, all the helpful links like discounts and other health information will be down below in the description box, so please check it out and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it, please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell and let me know which kind of video you would like me to film in the future. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!